Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. All right, so let's talk about the uh, atomic orbitals. So we originally had the idea that, atomic, that an atom looks like a nucleus in the middle, positively charged nucleus with the electrons orbiting out around it. Um, we're going to say that we're not going to use that model anymore. It's extremely outdated. We're going to ignore it. Um, it's great for simplistic ideas of what of, of ideas within, of how an atom behaves. But now we're going to talk about uh, we're getting more into chemistry. And we're going to talk about more in depth things. So we're going to now use the more updated model, which is a quantum mechanical model. So Schrodinger, along with Heisenberg, came up with a new idea of what an atom looks like. Um, it's the one we use today. Um, I'll, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle states that it's impossible to know precisely both the velocity and locations of an electron at the same time. And he, along with Schrodinger, which is he kind of like calculated this huge mathematical idea of where an electron can be, can be found, came up with this new idea of what an atom looks like. So if we go over here, we're going to actually try and describe what it, what it is and where an electron can be located within an atom. So if you have a nucleus in the middle, um, and here is what, you know, here's a nucleus and Back here is where the electrons are located. Um, we are going to, we are going to. Um, there are different different energy levels, the principal energy levels where electron can be found. So in the principal energy level, n equals one, n tells us n is basically the where which principal energy level is which. Um, we are going to have we have one orbital. We're going to call it the s orbital. And let's give an idea of what the s orbital actually looks like. Um, if we take this balloon. It's a spherical balloon. S orbitals are spherical in shape. In the middle, we have a nucleus. And surrounding it, we have the idea of where the electron can be found. So there's one orbital for every S uh, in S orbitals. There's only one. Looks like this. So we're going to say one. In the n equals 2 principal energy level, there is an S also, a little bit bigger sphere. And there's also p orbitals. Okay, p orbitals look slightly different. If we, this is what a p orbital looks like. This is one, even though there's two balloons, this is one p orbital. The nucleus is kind of where the knots are, and the electrons can be, be found either here or here, um, and it looks like a dumbbell shape. If we, there are actually three of these orbitals together, they come together to look like this complicated mess. Um, so electrons can be found in anywhere the balloons are. So the nucleus is obviously in the center, and the electrons can be found here, and there are three of them put together to look, make this three-dimensional shape. So in the n equals 2, we have one s orbital, and then we have three p orbitals. In the n equals 3, it also has s orbitals. It also has p orbitals. But it also has a d orbital. d orbitals look like flowers. A little more complicated. I didn't get a chance to make it in balloons because it's, it's a little bit harder. But it looks like a clover. And so the nucleus is found here and the electron can be found in any four of these places. Now, this is just one orbital. This is not four orbitals. This is just one orbital. So the electron can be found here, 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 or here. So you can find there's one s orbital, three p orbitals, and five d orbitals. They can be oriented in different ways along the axis. The n equals four principal energy level. You have an s also. You have a p, again. You have a d, and then you also have an f orbital. F orbitals are extremely complicated. Each orbital actually looks very different from each other. So we're not going to, I'm not even going to attempt to draw it because it's each one's a little bit crazy. But um, there's one S orbital. Oops, I'm sorry about that. Three P orbitals, five D orbitals, and as you can guess, there are seven F orbitals. And F is actually, for now, um, the, the most, uh, the biggest the highest energy orbital that we are going to find. There are theories that there are other orbitals within the principal energy level. However, we are, um, we're not going to go there because it's just theoretical at this point. Um, so as you can, if you were to put all these guys together, you'd get this insane mess looking thing. Um, the nucleus being here, the s orbital, the 1s orbitals, the, the electron can be found within that, then the, p, the three p orbitals, then the s, and then so on and so forth. So it's a lot more complicated than the Bohr's model, which is just a nucleus in the middle and the electrons surrounding it. So this is, this is basically the atomic orbitals. And by two. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. <laughs> so if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> That should be... Less than. Yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? 
All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two fix. Yeah. <laughs> 